I just want to read something because the most, uh, the be best known story by Liskov is the Lady Macbeth of Mtsensk, which is, was made into an opera by Shostakovich. And so it's better known than the rest of them. And it's a very great story, wonderful story. Horrible. Horrible, wonderful <laughs> Lady Macbeth. Provincial Lady Macbeth of Mtsensk is a small town near Ariol where Liskov was born. It's a story about love which becomes an elemental force which knows no morality. It cannot be judged because it, it, it commits evil, evil, I mean, it murders and horrible things. Uh, but you can't even judge it, or almost can't judge it by human standards, because it's so, what am I saying? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but, but this is a, just a, a small, a small... It's, it's an early story, very early, 1864. Leskov was born in 18, 1831. Uh, he, he got around to writing around eight, uh, 1860, 61, so it was early on that he wrote this. He never wrote anything like it again. It says scene that uh, the heroine, Katerina Lvovna, is in bed with her lover. They already committed one wickedness. <coughs> they are going to commit more. more. In the and yard... Meanwhile, they're carrying on. What? What is... Meanwhile, they're carrying on. They're carrying on, on yes. Mm, they're <coughs> young and beautiful. And uh, in, in the yard after lunch, it was scorching hot, and the darting flies were unbearably annoying. Katerina Lvovna closed the bedroom shutters, covered the window from inside with a woolen shawl, and lay down to rest with Sergei on the merchant's high bed. She's a merchant's wife, and her husband is away. Katerina Lvovna sleeps and doesn't, does not sleep. She's in some sort of daze. Her face is bathed in sweat, and her breathing is hot and heavy. Katerina Lvovna feels it is time for her to wake up, time to go to the garden and have tea, but she simply cannot get up. At last, the cook came and knocked on the door. The samovar is getting cold under the apple tree, she said. Katerina Lvovna turned over with effort and began to caress the cat. And the cat goes rubbing himself between her and Sergei, and he's so fine, gray, big, and fat as can be, and he has whiskers like a village headman. Katerina Lvovna feels his fluffy fur and he nuzzles her with his nose. He thrusts his blunt snout and her resilient breast and sings a soft song as if telling her of love. How did this tomcat get here, Katerina Lvovna thinks. I've set cream on the windowsill. The vile thing's sure to lap it up. He should be chased out, she decided, and was going to grab him and throw him out but her fingers went through him like mist. Where did this cat come from anyway? Katerina Lvovna reasons in her nightmare. We've never had any cat in our bedroom, and look what the one has got in. She again went to take hold of him, and again he was not there. Oh, what on earth is this? Can it really be a cat? thought Katerina Lvovna. She was suddenly dumbstruck and her drowsiness and dreaming were completely driven away. Katerina Lvovna looked around the room. There is no cat. There is only handsome Sergei lying there, pressing her breast to his hot face with his powerful hand. 